every so often on the channel we'll do like uh five this you forgot about you know like uh just recently not too long ago i did a video about five one hit wonders you may have forgot about or whatever and a lot of times when you do that it's kind of a, a timed thing you know like five songs from the 60s you forgot about and it's like well yeah because that was, you know, 60 years ago. You know what I mean? But uh, Lauren today brought in and said, well, we're going to do five millennial hits you forgot about. And to be honest, when I first looked at this list, or when I first looked at the title, I was like, yeah, but that was like 10 minutes ago, right? But then you, I went through the songs that you picked, and I was like, yep, people forgot about those yep. songs. You know, and then we'll get into it. But I feel like there's some that people uh, would act like they want to forget. Uh, and then others that I don't think people even remember being a hit when they were. So take us through what you got. Yeah. So <laughs> the very, the first one, I spent like way too much bandwidth at the time that this came out trying to convince people that this song was good. Mm -hmm. And it's Stars Are Blind by Paris Hilton. Mm -hmm. And the only problem with this song is the fact that it's Paris Hilton. People wouldn't give it a chance. Right. And a lot of people don't know this, but you know, there's songwriting factories and whatnot. And a lot of the material gets swapped around between a lot of the same artists. Yeah. This song was shopped around to people like Britney and Kelly Clarkson and whatever. And for whatever reason, it didn't end up on any other records. So, again, great song. But the only issue people had with it is that Paris Hilton. And I don't know. I don't know anything about her uh, her uh, pop career. I don't know how much trickery was used or if she can sing. I don't know. I'm not here to say anything on that. But, like, she did as good as any other pop star would have done with that song. Mm, she sure did. Yeah. And I mean, seriously, give this song a chance. It's got a really like blondie, tight as high vibe yeah, yeah. to it. And it's so much fun. It's that so was much like fun. the first thing when I first heard it. I was like, oh, get a load of this. <laughs> you know, and then when I heard it, I was like, oh, well, that's kind of like tight as high. Yep. Neat. So, all right. So kicking things off with a bang with Paris Hilton and uh, 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 Stars Are Blind. What else do you got? I have Standing Still by Jewel. Mm. Now, this is one of those songs that I forget exists until I hear it. Then I go, oh. Oh, yeah, this song is great. And what's so cool about it is it starts off very Jewel, just like a guitar little intro. And you're thinking, okay, this is what this song yeah. is going to be. Then the beat kicks in and the pre-chorus. And you're like, Jewel, what is happening? What is happening, Jewel? And then the chorus is just like pure early 2000s pop. And it's just yeah. so great. I feel like, and I could be wrong on this. I'm literally, this is off the top of my head. But she had that song that was 180 degrees from what she does intuition intuition yeah and i feel like this was the one that was supposed to bridge back to like all right everybody calm down mm -hmm. like i'm still doing like a little bit of both yep right but yeah people forget that song mm -hmm. that it was uh, and it could be intuition could have ruined it <laughs> like, it, it know, might have yeah everybody was so mad about that they didn't want to continue on <laughs> uh but anyway so there's a couple right there and then the next one that's on your list is one I 1,000% forgot about until as soon as I saw your list. I was like, oh, yeah, that was a big hit. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's a cover of the Go-Go's Our Lips Are Sealed by Hilary Duff and her sister, Haley Duff. Mm -hmm. And this song was, like, all over retail radio when it was out. And so I remember just, like, stocking shelves and, like, oh, it's that. It's the Duffs again. Yeah. And... You know, but what's really fun about this is that it's a it's a great early 2000s, like, reimagining of, like, this mm -hmm. 80s hit. But what gets me every single time, and I'm choosing to find it endearing, is that they, like, over-enunciate yeah, yeah. in the song. And I was like, oh, that's just, like, it's adorable, and it's just very fun. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I, it's a, it's a, a solid cover. Yeah. You know, and uh, you know, and there's that argument of, like, okay, well, they weren't going to have a big hit on their own, so they had to do a cover. Well, but whatever. Whatever. It's still a good cover. Yeah. Uh, the last one that's on your list, I'm super excited about. So uh, I'm going to try and contain my excitement while we talk about the second to the last one. Okay. But regarding your second to the last one, this is an artist that, like, for years, I felt like I was the only person that remembered this artist as a whole. Mm -hmm. Like, anytime I brought it up, people were just like, you mean Casey and? And I was like, no. no. Yeah. <laughs> like, so tell us what, uh, obviously, it's going to be JoJo. And if you don't remember this, we always put the links to the songs in the description. Click this one before anything else, because I promise you, JoJo was a great artist. JoJo so is, totally is, is a great is, artist. Yeah. And uh, no one remembers. I know. I know. Yeah, I went with the song uh, Too Little Too Late by the aforementioned JoJo. And perfect time capsule of a song. I think my favorite part about it is, well... There are like way too many vocal runs in this. Like the song doesn't need all of them, right. but they're so great. And I, I was singing along in the car to this song the other day, and like I remembered 
all of the runs right. and I'm just like driving down the highways like oh but the low register of her voice is gorgeous and when she gets like down there and you're like okay Jojo like it's thick down there yeah, yeah. and I really it's it's great it's yeah. just a fun little you know I mean I, I said everything I had to say at the top like for this one please by all means go check it out it's great yeah and then also maybe check out some of her other stuff because there's probably a lot of stuff that you haven't heard that's fantastic mm -hmm. uh, the last one I feel like I reminded you you sure of, did of this song you sure like, did I think I put it on our joint playlist when we were driving along and you were like why is this happening <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I was like, because this was a big hit, no one remembers it. And you're like, I don't remember yeah, this one. Yeah, right, so. yeah. So it's uh, Jessica Simpson, I Think I'm In Love With You. And yeah, it, that's exactly how it happened. I completely forgot about this song, which is why I felt like it was a great way mm -hmm. to close this video, because I forgot about it, which means you probably did too. Mm -hmm. And yeah, super fun. And the the sample of the... Um, that's what I was just going to say. If you're, if you're saying, if you're watching this video and you're like, I don't remember that song at all, uh, I'm going to give it the worst description possible. And you're going to be like, there's no way that song is good. It's an upbeat dancey pop song with Jessica Simpson on lead vocals singing about first teenage love yeah. type stuff with a sample of Jack and Diane by John Cougar Mellencamp. So like all those things, right? If you've never heard this before, you're probably watching this video being like, none of that made sense. Yeah. Wait, but then click on the link <laughs> and listen to it. And you'll be like, my God, it makes sense. Yeah, isn't it? Does it? It's a fantastic <laughs> sample. She wails on it. She sure does. Yeah. Yeah. Really good production. Like that was the first song I ever heard by her. And I was like, yay, more of that, please. And then we did <laughs> no. not. Yeah, we did not get more of that. Uh, no, I'm you know, not insulting her overall. I just she didn't. She never did anything again that I loved as much as that. Right. And then I was the only one that remembered that through the whole mm -hmm. reality show yep. and all that. So but anyways, when we do these videos, we're always like, hey, challenge us. Come up with stuff. So and like I say, I feel like uh, you went with the most most recent challenge you I could sure did. with it being that but you know if you think uh, hey i got some great uh, artists you forgot about or whatever else by all means drop the comment let us know listen to the songs hit the links in the description and let us know what you think of each one if you think we're both nuts and the jessica simpson song is awful by all means tell us uh or if you don't remember jojo so on and so forth just make sure to hit the links in the description listen to those and most important to us is to drop a comment and keep the discussion going because that's all that we want is for everybody to be discussing music as much as possible. And as we always say in all these videos, thank you so much for watching.